Mm, to be honest, I didn't hear much about heretics before joining. I mean, I knew there is heretics. It felt kind of like we were kings, and that we were joining this like prestigious org that was coming into the League of Legends scene. And I was like, this is the team that I would like to join. <laughs> The first days in the spring 2022 was really fun. We were living in like a big mansion. We're the new Big Lens team for Team Heretics. Uh, impossible. Coming from Arafel to Spain, it was a new challenge for me again. So I was really motivated to play and I was just impressed by the gaming house we had and I was really motivated to the, for the team. Hey guys, welcome, you coming? The first day, first time I joined like the Heretics. I mean, I think it was scary a bit because, like, coming to the airport, going to the like some random place for 30 minutes drive, I was like, why it's so far? And I'm like, where are the shops? Like, there is nothing. I remember still the place. Then, I, then I see the house. I'm like, wow, the house is so good. There is jacuzzi. It never worked. But I was like, yeah. Actually, there were two jacuzzis. I think in spring 2022, we had like a really good start. I think we were like third place at the first half. Victoria, Victoria! And then we only won one game in the second half or something. It was like a stupid amount how little we won in the second half. I think the meta for us wasn't the best. I think also we had a lot of disagreements that at first they didn't like, we didn't talk about them just because we were like a new team and we weren't really familiar with each other. And it was kind of like this honeymoon phase where people were just trying to be like, happy and make each other happy and... And I think it showed in our gameplay that we couldn't uh, win any games. And I think it was the key moment for us to not make it to playoffs, which was really depressing. I think we had a lot of problems that were like stacking up that just weren't being addressed. And then, then once you have those problems that are like stacked and you get to like high pressure games, it's just kind of unplayable because people just don't trust each other and things just don't work out. But for summer split, we had some changes. I think it was really helpful for the team. I think both Ibo and Gibus brought a lot to the team, and I think they all helped us a lot to improve overall. And it was just a good split, I would say, in summer. Look, guys, I don't know what got into those two brain cells of yours, but we need to focus up. We're Yes, we're first place, but we need to grab every single win we can. The job is not done. We have to focus up and we have to achieve our goals. Es el turno de descubrir al nuevo rey. Hoy el cielo de Madrid coronará al nuevo campeón de Superliga. I think the finals was definitely one of one of the top time in my life for sure. It was really surreal. I mean, this was like the first thing that I won, like insane thing, like with the crowd as well. Heretics! My parents were coming, so. It's always like extra motivation for me to be like playing even better, to like not make them come to lose, you know? Like I want uh, to win even harder when they are around and when I have my parents in the finals. And it's just uh, extra motivation for me and I want to make them proud. I think that the feeling that like there was more Giants fans than Heretics fans, for me it was, made it more fun. Just like knowing that I was shutting people up and uh, that I was like, I was making a statement through the games. I mean, it's, it's like insane experience. Like uh, even when uh, the fans were like cheering for the Giants, it was like still making you happy because like you can see how much passion they are toward the players. Hay muchos fans de Giants aquí o no? It's like crazy crowd, crazy vibe and energy and atmosphere that we had in the Super League of Finals. So for me, it's definitely one of my most cherished memories. I think every player wants to just play and just get this moment in his life. Sino que encima vuelven a ganar a los 
gigantes, no 3 a 0, pero sí 3 a 1 para levantar el trofeo de la Superliga. Enerdice es campeón de Superliga, levanta la copa al cielo de Madrid. So you like the Incorns of Love? Okay. This is for Jaya. En la EU Masters de 2022, el año pasado, en Summer, eh, no tenía muy claro en plan cómo de lejos íbamos a llegar. Yo sabía que teníamos un equipo para hacer muy buen run, eh, pero creo que fue el, el punto en el que ganamos el quinto mapa contra Unicorns, después de ganar los lo cuartos de final. Creo que el equipo sintió que después de esa serie podíamos ganar a, a quien sea. Y creo que hubo como un boost de, de confianza dentro del equipo eh, para todo el mundo y, y transicionó muy bien para la semis y para la final. I think the, the reason why no one uh, believed in us first is because like there were other teams that were like had really good players and they already achieved something in their uh, lives I would say and like uh, they were like they were just everyone thinks they were so good. Oye papá, ¿y nosotros por qué somos Beretti? I think it was just a crazy journey for us that we won your Masters and I don't know, I don't think anyone expected us to win, but it was like just insane. It was like perfect moment for us, like uh, we had so many bad things that was happening to us, but we were like fixing it as a team. We were like enjoying time together and I think that was the main reason like why we were so good together, because we were just enjoying the time. If we had a problem after the scrims, like I don't know, Danny Lurzer was eating, then we go to the gym. We, we do the workout and then we talk about this, like why you do this, why you do this, if I'm tilted, I just tell him why I got tilted. I think like the kind of family spirit and like just working hard, this is what won the CEO Master. Vamos a ser campeones del European Master, otra vez más, este tío es de loco de lo que acaba de hacer Heretics, campeón de la Superliga en su primer año, campeón del European Masters en su primer año y el año que viene estarán en la LEC, gana Heretics. Somos campeones del European Master. Tres años después, un club español consigue llegar a la final del European Master. Que los jugadores no subiesen a la LEC, yo te diría que en cierto modo sí que les afectó. No sabría decirte cuánto les afectó. Creo que mentalmente fue un poco difícil al principio, porque creo que todos merecemos tener un corto análisis, porque todos jugamos realmente loco en los Masters y jugamos un buen show en los oficiales. Para mí, mi toda mi carrera ha sido como el sueño, ha sido LEC. Y fue definitivamente algo que podía decir que estaba llegando más y más cerca y más cerca, incluso en el final de 2020, Uh, I was getting like tryouts for LEC, which I wasn't expecting at all because like I didn't have very good competitive results, but just people had really good recommendations of me and my work ethic and my solo queue stats and everything. Uh, so I knew that if I played well and I performed, I could definitely do it. Entonces como que en un, un momento un poco que estaban haciendo muchas cosas. Yo creo que sí que afectó, pero no creo fuese que fuese algo um, game breaking por así decir, sabes algo muy muy fuerte, pero hasta cierto punto sí que sentía un poco de, de que les afectaba un poco en la, quizás en la motivación o, o incluso en confianza de por qué no he subido cuando realmente creo que tengo el nivel, ¿sabes? I don't think it affected our performance. It was just, I don't know, kind of a weird feeling, you know, that only one of us goes to LEC and others are staying in Superliga. They didn't even have a chance, so I don't know. It's just unlucky. We have to keep uh, grinding. Maybe I didn't work enough. Like maybe I just need to work more. That was maybe the problem. Maybe the start, you know, it was in the moment. Maybe it was unlucky, but I, I believe it was like I just could do more. I was definitely very happy about it and felt like I was entering a new stage of my career. And it was something that 
I'd been looking forward to a lot. And yeah, it's every pro player's dream. Jimbro, Jimbro. Jimbro, Jimbro. Jimbro, Jimbro. Jimbro, Jimbro. Hey, I'm Ibo, Jimbro, and I'm staying at Team Heretics. Hello, I'm Brozor, Jimbro, and I'm staying at Team Heretics. Hello, I'm Zvairo, Jimbro, and I will stay in Team Heretics. Cuando llegamos a la offseason de de fin de año para para esto del 23 y teníamos que cerrar el roster con Marlon y con y con Flacket. Albert, pero desde cuándo eres taxista? Pero tú no estás en Heretics. ¿Esto qué? ¿Fake taxi o qué? El patas en agua. Que me corto. I mean. Uh... First impression, I think it was good because I knew Flacket was a good player. I knew Marlon was a good player. En gran parte diri, diría que fue una salvación, aunque tuviera algunas otras ofertas es la que más me llamó y también gran parte fue por Alvar y, y por eh, Werlip. I think the situation was kind of nice because we had Flacket coming from G2 and it was super nice to have a guy coming from such a big org and playing in LEC, winning LEC. I think he brought a lot to the table also, some experience and helping us. And also Marlon, I think he was a really good rookie. I mean, he's still really good. And I think it was just uh, some nice fresh air, you know, for the next team, I mean, for the next split. Para mí no significó un, un, un cambio como muy significativo, en el sentido de que creo que la base del equipo ya la teníamos. Entonces, lo que queríamos era intentar adaptar un poco las necesidades de eh, lo que los dos juegos necesitasen, por un lado, y hacerlos a como nosotros Eh, sabemos jugar y llevamos tiempo jugando nuestra identidad de equipo. Intentamos que Marlon como rookie se sintiese todo lo arropado posible, intentamos darle eh, apoyo entre fuera del juego y, y Flaquet eh, siendo una persona que eh, aparte de ser muy bueno, el tío tiene mucha experiencia en competitivo, eh, no, no tuvo problema en ¿sabes? Eh, lo que el equipo necesitase. Eh, si él necesitaba, necesitamos que pillase recursos de la Bolden, los iba a pedir. Y si queremos jugar top set, pues él iba a jugar eh, Wixai. Entonces no teníamos problemas a la hora de ser flexible como hablamos con Jack. Con Jack. Es una triple kill para Flaquet. Pisa fuerte el equipo de Redding. Somehow, I feel it, like it didn't work. Maybe it didn't fully fit our like, identity as a team. Estábamos esperando. En breves instantes dará comienzo la vigésimo tercera final nacional. Creo que es un año en el que se nos han complicado un poco las cosas eh, desde principios de año, um, porque sí que es cierto que teníamos un roster muy bueno, pero había cosas que um, eran más difícil como adaptar o, o fixar en ese sentido. Flacket is not a guy who goes dream. Marlon is not a like, fully guy who goes dream, so we couldn't really fix our like problems. Like we were fixing last split. Eh, yo sentía que me gustaron un equipo que nos podía jugar todo tú y nos podía ganar. We never expected them to be so good. And this is part of the learning process as well. Yeah. Just know that just because we lose today doesn't mean that we're all failures or that we cannot bounce back from this. Also in Spring Split I think we had a good showing. We got stomped in finals which was really painful. But overall the split was I think not the worst. It was insane experience. Uh, first time I played finals like that offline. And freaky people on the stage, like a lot of heretics fans, it was awesome. Unlucky we didn't make it, right? Uh, always in finals I'm getting second place, so I want to fight for the trophy to win something. But the experience was insane. Yo siempre había soñado con, con ganar una liga en España. Fue como un poco de como wake up call, aunque llega un poco tarde, obviamente llega para después de finales, pero Fue como un despertar de dar, darnos cuenta, un punto que la atención de que no estamos haciendo las cosas bien. Fue una temporada que fue complicada. Podemos hacer el 2-4 de los Masters después, pero 
Es Superliga se nos, se nos quedó un poco coja al final. A las finales de Superliga creo que no hicimos la mejor preparación del mundo. Eh, podríamos saber 100%, no es que me arrepienta o alguien del equipo se arrepienta, pero sí que estamos de acuerdo que todos en, en, en el equipo en general podemos haber dado un poco más. Eh, pero sobre esto European Masters, ya, ya lo mencioné por redes y tal, eh, creo que fuimos con, con todo lo que teníamos. Revalida título el equipo español que fue el campeón en la edición pasada y no van a tener la oportunidad de pelear en la final el sábado. Es lo que hay, hasta aquí nuestro fit de primavera, eh, tanto Europea Masters como Superliga. Es eso, ¿no? Duele, duele haberse quedado a las puertas, pero al menos hemos llegado a las puertas. For me, coming back, it was kind of like a surprise. I felt like, I thought we would do a lot better than we did, just honestly. Like, the team that I remembered in like summer when we won everything, I thought we were all just insanely good players. And I thought, coming back into summer, it's going to be the same thing all over again. I think this change hits me the hardest. Like, everyone knew Jack already and the Jack knew them except me, so I felt like Jack didn't, um, how to say it, didn't open himself because people already knew him, so it was a bit harder for me, I would say. I felt like, for me personally, coming back, it was a big confidence boost. I feel like even in the games that we lost, I played really well and I, I felt like just playing against and with these players that like I feel like I'm better than this I feel like I can still I have what it takes to play in a higher league um, so for me that was a big confidence boost even though we lost and I feel like if I put the work in now and I try my best then I can for sure make it back up there my goals and what I really want to work on is really clear so I can feel that when I come back to the LEC, I'll be a completely different player. So yeah, last split, I was not happy with my own performance at all. Like, I don't think the meta fit me really well. Like, it didn't fit me very well, and I don't think I adapted the, the best to it. And it showed in our gameplay also, because I feel like when I'm in comfortable and I'm shot calling for the whole team, I think the games are just super easy to play. And yeah, I'm like, cannot change the past, but for the future, for sure, if something changes like this in the meta, I have to adapt better. I don't think I was disappointed with my level, but it's not that like, I was happy. Like There are limited times of my life when I'm happy with my performance. Like uh, I always put the, like, the level so high that I can't almost reach it. Like, the, like, for example, the happiness is here and the level is here. So like, it's really far from like, to make me happy. Like, for example, one moment I was happy was like maybe finals of EU Master. Like the last game with the Azir, I remember like so much farm. I was like, this was a good level that I want to show. I wasn't fully happy, I would say. Like, I wasn't disappointed and I wasn't happy. Like, I was in the, like the half. It's really hard to say. I think maybe some people got bored in the middle of split or uh, we didn't have that good team connection uh, in the middle of split. We weren't fixing our mistakes, we were perma doing it, while other teams were perma improving and they were getting better, 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 higher, while we were just on the same level uh, all the time, right? So maybe that was the problem. so much pain. Why you fucking remind me? You see, I don't remember. I was thinking, you know, and I remember I was watching you master from home. I was like, what the fuck? Are we going into the Iberian Cup? I can tell you one thing. We're not going to lose a single game and we're going to stomp everyone. And also Mirvin is just, I think he's really good, actually. I'm kind of impressed by him, how he plays. I think he's a really good player and we're going to fucking stomp everyone. Going to Iberian Cup, I, I feel like we are like, I'm, at least I, I am really motivated. I feel like team is really motivated. Of course, it's not our peak of motivation, but after losing so early to Koi, not making it to you masters, I think everyone just wants to win Iberian Cup. We are working like, I would say hard. We are 
winning scrims. Never happened before. We are winning in a team that we were never winning before. I mean, it's nice to see the team that has like motivation and they are giving all what they can do to just play and enjoy the time. About Mervin, like this is really weird because like I have kind of flaked vibes. And, like, I don't know if it's fucking Spanish people or what, but the, these guys are like they, they are just you know like they are just there and they are like this always like you know they are just chilling. Then what's up? And I'm like, Everything good and you? Yeah, good as well. And I like, go the fuck? And, and he's like always like positive. This is our first week. Yeah, this is my day. Routine. Yeah. One day. This is a. Uh... Enemy big sword? Yeah. Enemy big sword? One zero, what? Enemy big sword, Hector? If Nidal is not everywhere? I don't know what's wrong, but this guy never tilts. He's just enjoying the game. He has a big champion pool. Like sometimes he's coming with the crazy ideas that I don't want to hear. But he's like... I mean, I, I think it's a good surprise. Like, I know, it's for sure. <laughs> Like one, it's like this? I don't know. Oh yeah, it's good. Yeah, I'm not trying to jump, but it's good. Cocinamos. Y sacamos la buena final. Toma. Se 
arrancar muriendo solo que la vaca vamos a tener campeón de Liberian Cup y va a ser el equipo de los Heretics todo el mundo quería esta final pero se ha decidido por la vía rápida ahora sí, ahora sí. Heretics que levanta el cielo de Barcelona el trofeo de Liberian Cup For me, being part of the Jim Bros is obviously a really good feeling. I feel like it's not only teammates, but like a family for me. I have been here for like two years with the same people almost. Yeah, it was like a really good time here. And obviously, winning the Bidian Cup is something that I really wanted to. Obviously, because we didn't win it last year, and this year we managed to win it, which makes me really happy, and I'm just super happy. I think it's been really valuable to be us as the Jim Bros. I think it's promoted a good culture where we exercise, we work out together, and we're just like having a good lifestyle and it helps us in game as well and uh, we're all really like fun guys and we're a lot of fun. I think it's really important guys to go to have your life. Scopy enjoy the life together and this trophy just shows like the end of something like I think we are too alone and this shows you should go to a for sure. Yeah. Italy top, you know they were fighting who plays Italy? Yeah, because Danny is uh, the bruiser is one pick Italy.